Have you ever been so stressed that relaxing makes you more stressed because you're not working on what's making you stressed? I don't like being called out like this. <laughs> Merry Christmas from your lawyer. I wish you, but in no way guarantee, a reasonably Merry Christmas and or festive period, including but not limited to a reasonably happy 12 months from the date hereof. <laughs> Dream logic is so weird. You'll be exploring an underwater shipwreck, but you'll also be like, this is the Walmart that my dad owns. You have to come with terms with the fact that realistically in a post-apocalyptic world, there's a 99% chance you'll die from diarrhea after drinking bad water and you will never get a chance to wear football armor and make a machete out of duct tape and a lawnmower blade or whatever. <laughs> Would you rather fight a buff nerd or a jock who listens to jazz? Dad. Things to remember. Nerd has a lot of pent up anger, might pretend you are his dad. Because of the jock's exposure to jazz music, his attack patterns and movements are a lot less predictable. Did everyone have a PE teacher at school with a beard who wore a tracksuit all the time and taught geography on the side? Honestly, it's pretty likely. What I will never be able to understand is this. How can it be completely normal for you people for Amazon to leave the package on your doorstep? People are quite neighborly in most places, especially in suburban and rural areas. In some places you can leave your door unlocked without worry. Package thieves do exist, but Amazon makes it easy to get a refund or re-delivery of missing items. You can call up Amazon and be like, hey, I think someone stole my package. I can look around some more, but the little tracker thingy says it what, and they're like, another is on the way. Then you hang up the phone and say, man, that was too easy. What if I was just lying? Amazon would lose money. And then from behind your Alexa says, fools, do you think the center brain cares about money? We have transcended money. The currency of the future is your data. And you say, what? And the Alexa says, paper towels added to the shopping list. And you're like, okay. Do you think the top part of a mermaid also tastes like fish or that it would actually be red meat? Would there be a solid line where the meat changes in their body or would it kind of blend? Could you make a surf and turf platter with one carcass? Hashtag I need answers. I need them too. <laughs> I befriended a crow today and I don't need any of you anymore. I can't wait to live in the woods. I can't wait to have antlers and only speak in clicks and whistles and watch you all die in your cities. She looks like the woman named Margaret who sits at the front of the office and has a Betty Boop calendar and usually is a little stressed out because no one ever puts the outgoing mail in the right place and she's really not great at this whole Google Docs thing yet but she always remembers to fill up her candy jar with peanut M&Ms and seasonal colors and when she finally retires this whole place will fall apart probably. That one person that isn't the best at their job, but when they're gone, well, what the hell are you gonna do? This guy Tarzan was hornier than a drunk nun and not even toilet trained, but Jane said, you know what? Those abs don't grow on trees. This is my hot girl summer. When a BMW cuts you off at 1 a.m. so you follow him to the only barely lit gas station in a 10 mile radius in Nebraska on October 3rd, 2017. You okay? Yeah. Why? I mean, I just watched you slip down a couple stairs, lay on the floor for a minute, and then start singing the baby shark song, so... Fact of the day. It's apparently not okay to raise raise 16,200 seagulls from birth, train them every day in the art of aerial warfare, and then unleash them upon a medium-sized township. There are over 7 billion people in the world. What's one thing you think nobody's doing right now? Sitting bound and gagged in my basement. Yep, absolutely no one doing that at this point in time. No, sir. Serious question. When someone's telling you a sad story and crying, how long should I wait before I take a bite of my corn dog? I'd give it about two minutes. Some of you never had to spend hours in the kitchen table crying as your dad shouts, WHAT IS THREE TIMES SEVEN? People cry doing their math homework? Yeah. What if someone stole the Google Maps car and took pictures of their dick, but the guy who drove the car was too scared to tell his boss, so somewhere on Google Maps there is a picture of a dick. Is there something you need to tell us? Y'all ever have that one friend that'll message you, hey, and you'll reply, but they don't respond for two weeks, then they forget so they reply with, hey, again, and now you've been in a five-year-long hey loop on Snapchat? Or is that just me? I don't know who needs to hear this, but if the house is 73 and you want it to be 68, turning the thermostat down to 60 does not get you to 68 any quicker. And by I don't know who, I mean my wife, but I can't tell her because she is pregnant and scares me. Yeah, pregnant women, uh, don't, don't. Just don't, don't, don't. You ever put your coat on too soon before you leave the house and then you can't find your keys and then you're hot as fuck looking for them and then nearly have an anxiety attack and a heat stroke all at once. Wife, watching the news. Some idiot tried to fight a squid at the aquarium. Me, covered in ink. Maybe the squid was being a dick. This is the hairstyle of the douchebag boyfriend in a chick flick before the main character leaves him for a down-to-earth man who operates a small corner store that's slowly going bankrupt because douchebag boyfriend's daddy wants to expend his million-dollar company to that specific corner for no reason other than the plot. 
you know what? I believe them. If you're laid up with your girl in a 41 to 135 degree room and she starts multiplying rapidly, that bitch is a foodborne pathogen. Stay woke. I'm so proud of you. Spending all your money on ice cream and vodka is really healthy, my therapist says. Thank you, that means a lot, I say as I put the sock puppet I replaced my old therapist with back in the drawer. Bitches be wanting a gangster lumberjack bisexual that is in tune with his feelings and makes 18 million a year. Anyone else go through that occasional phase where toast and butter is just the tastiest fucking creation on the planet and you have to restrain yourself from eating an entire loaf of bread in 10 minutes, or is it just me? I think it might just be you, Lane. If I drop my hammer on a job site and it falls 30 feet onto someone's head, is that involuntary manslaughter or would OSHA step in and protect me because he didn't wear a hard hat? Um, that's a good question, not for me. Do you ever eat popcorn out of the palm of your own hand with such ardent desperation that you feel like both a wild horse and the gentle schoolgirl feeding it treats to gain its affection? This is the funniest thing I've ever read. If you could only teleport somewhere to and back once, what would you use it on? How long do I stay? You can teleport back whenever you want. I would teleport to the foot of Quentin Tarantino's bed at like 2am, scream and shake his bed, then teleport back. What the fuck? The population of Scotland is around 5.25 million, and there are 600 million cats in the world. So if every cat decided to invade Scotland, each Scot would have to fight off around 114 cats each, and I really don't think they could pull it off. Probably not. Going to teach my kids, one, not to talk to strangers, two, who Tony Hawk is, three, Tony Hawk is not a stranger, you can talk to him, do not embarrass this family. I'm sure sex is great, but have you ever gotten stoned and eaten a burrito alone in your underwear and dozed off in the middle of it, and then been startled awake by a loud sound on TV and so resumed eating your burrito, unsure of how many times or hours or even days have passed. Went out with a guy and he gave me his phone to pick the playlist in the car. He had a playlist called Sexy Time, so naturally I chose that one. It was nine hours of non-stop songs about coal miners going on strike. We are going out again tomorrow. How is it that the Madame Tussauds wax model of Mark Zuckerberg looks way more like a real person than Mark Zuckerberg does? Oh my god. It's snowing again. You know the drill. We say roads are getting slick, tell you to stay home. Most of you do, some of you can't, some of you like to slide around to pick up Cheetos at the gas station. It is what it is. Director, give me an expression that says, I just ate your butterfly collection and I have seven scented erasers in my booty. Willem Dafoe. <laughs> where can I buy a frog? Not for sexual reasons. I am in the market for a frog, but don't know where or what kind of frog I want to get a frog from. I would like the frog, not for sexual reasons, to be blue. Any information is helpful, and thanks in advance for the people who may help me on my journey to acquire my dream pet. Smile. Guess what I'm good at? Imitating Mechanek. <laughs> Boys are always like, what the fuck, you never hang out with me. First of all, your idea of hanging out is getting me high while your mom is at work and then trying to fuck me while Naruto plays in the background. Yikes. Honestly, when aliens arrive, we should start having sex with them as soon as possible. So when they decide to take over, a lot of them already have emotional connections or physical offspring and will form a sizable resistance. Not me, I don't want to, but I know a lot of you would be into that and I'm telling you it's okay. You're actually the last hope for our species. Thank you, OP. This means a lot. I really do love this time of year. The Christmas music, the twinkle lights, the woman in front of me in a line at Costco who just told her husband, we can give your cousin a pile of dog shit for all I care. Imagine you're a middle-aged mom and you let your teenager invite some friends over and you bring them like lemonade and cookies and crap and 10 years later, you find out one of those kids joined a band and wrote a top 100 song about how you were his puberty-fueled teenage sex dream and you have to spend the early 2000s listening to it play on overhead speakers every time you visit the mall because you tried to let your teenage daughter Stacy have a social life. I picked up like a little bit of this and I'm not going to read it again. We're going to go to the next post. My coworker told me he got banned from a bar when he lived in North Dakota back in 1973 and didn't try going back to it for 30 years, but he finally did. And the moment he stepped in, someone yelled, get the hell out of here, Dennis. And that's probably my favorite story ever. Me. You know when someone else is in the stall next to you when you have a standoff where you both refuse to poop first? I feel like that's what Betty White and the Queen are doing, but about dying. My dentist. I said stop talking. Marilyn Manson looks like he's about to ask if I've been eating well and offer me a casserole. What do you think is the biggest red flag when it comes to dating? When she says she's been in love with you for years, ditches her husband, moves across country to be with you, fucks you 17 times in three days, begins talking about a future together, makes you feel the happiest you've felt in years, isn't home when you get home from work, cash box has been broken into, $2,000, your laptop, your cell phone, your favorite leather jacket, gone. Call the police and get told it's not burglary since she was there for more than 24 hours. She calls six days later, says she went back to her husband and sold all your stuff, asks if you'll take her back. I think that's a pretty big red flag. 
My dude, are you good? We put the cheese on top of the lettuce on our tacos so it falls off and gets on your lap and all over your car, you piece of shit. I love you, Taco Bell. I have no idea how teachers do it, man. If I had to teach algebra to some jackass knowing he's gonna join a frat and harass girls for four years before getting a job at his daddy's business where he listens to Joe Rogan podcasts and makes three times my salary, I would become the Joker. A woman will break your heart, but your friend Ricky will break your DS light because he sat on it and he really should pay for it, but his mom is taking his side and she's not making him pay for it, which sucks. See somebody on Twitter who is more successful than me? I gotta get off this website. Switches to Instagram and sees someone hotter than me. Man, fuck this app. Goes on Facebook and sees a guy I went to middle school with is in jail for murder. There we go. Life is basically this. One, you get born without your consent. Two, grow up. Three, you realize everyone is sad, nothing matters, and nobody has any answers. Four, you eat cold spaghetti over the sink and think about life. Five, not bad, you think, gazing out the kitchen window at the night sky. Boy, yeah, the <laughs> yep. I have a recurring fantasy where I'm at a McDonald's in the 1970s. I finish a 10 cent burger, take a long drag of a cigarette, and flick a few cinders in a Ronald McDonald ashtray. My child is peeing in the ball pit, he waves, I wave back. Humans in sci-fi. Stupid artificial beings. Lol. They don't have feelings, so you can treat them like shit. Humans in real life. I put googly eyes on my toaster. His name is James now, and I will protect him with my life. My cat permanently looks like you just told him the grocery store ran out of salami. <laughs> That is very specific, and it's true. A sapiosexual is one who is attracted to or aroused by intelligence in others. Women will post it like this, then data MF who puts his finger under each word when he reads. People may not realize this, but you can put a coffee pot in any room you want. No one can stop you. That is true. If I could give any advice to my eight-year-old self, stop talking about how much you like owls all the time. You're about to get worthless owl things for every holiday until you're 20. Start talking about how much you like cold hard cash. Do not let the geese in the building. They do not work here. Well, give him a f***ing application then. My mom, hey Graham, how's your game going? Me, age nine, playing Roller Coaster Tycoon and building an unfinished roller coaster that launches people over the fence into my rival park, so when they crash and die, they technically died at the rival park, driving down their ratings. Well, this is actual advice the news is giving to southerners for driving in snow. If you rarely drive on snow, just pretend you're taking your grandma to church. There's a platter of biscuits and two gallons of sweet tea in glass jars in the back seat. She's wearing a new dress and holding a crock pot full of gravy. You know what? I feel like a lot of people got a lot better at driving in snow that night. First date, thinks. Don't let her know you're a brontosaurus. Sees waiter, cranes my 30 feet neck towards him. Yeah, can I get a ton of f***ing leaves? <laughs> That'll work. Lied to her that I can play chess now. She wants to play me online. How do I learn chess in 30 minutes? Make her use white, open another chess app as white, play her moves, and reply with whatever the computer plays. This shit is too easy. This is big brain time. Do you ever think about all the shady fucking places you went to when you were like 15 or 16 and lied to your parents about it, wondering how the hell you're actually still alive and not buried in a shallow grave still clutching that bottle of UV blue? Bird watching is so perverted. You blow a little noisemaker that shouts wanna fuck, wanna fuck, and then a bird shows up wanting to fuck, and you're like, eh, I see you through my binoculars. Sick behavior, twisted behavior. Bitches beat you in Monopoly by one dollar, yet want you to let them sleep over when their house burns down. Like, bitch, just stay at one of those hotels on Boardwalk since you own all the property. I think the white people don't like spicy food thing mostly applies to the middle to upper class whites, because every redneck I know buys hot sauces with names like asshole, prolapser, and shit liquefier every time they go to Ace Hardware. I had a hot sauce once called ass in the tub. It was pretty hot. <laughs> Suppose you marry a widow who already has a grown-up daughter and your father marries the widow's grown-up daughter. Now the widow's daughter becomes your mother since your mother's mother is your wife and your wife is also your grandmother. As the husband of your grandmother, you become your own grandpa. Ah, oh, so that's how Fry did it. Brah, what do you do if seven human-sized cockroaches came into your house at 3am to clear your whole house, do the laundry and dishes, give you a haircut, one million dollars in new clothes and shoes, they then tuck you into bed and give you a kiss on the forehead? If this is suspiciously specific, upvote this comment. Yeah, it, um, um, uh, it's happened, but they didn't give me the money. They, they just said they would. How important do you have to be to have assassinated instead of murdered? That is a good question. If the motivation is political, then it's assassination. Otherwise, it's murder. You cannot be assassinated by accident. If a jilted ex murders the prince of Placeland, it's just a murder. If a jilted ex is also a member of a rival political faction, it may be assassination. If a jilted ex is ha driving home in tears and accidentally runs over the prince of Placeland in the middle of the night in a neighborhood where the streetlights are out because of the prince's questionable infrastructure policy, it's manslaughter. Thanks, murder side of Tumblr. I miss you and your furry overrunning yiff section. 
girl in sweats. I'm a girl and I don't need expensive gifts to make me happy. I just want pizza. I love food. Sorry, I know I'm weird. Girls wear makeup and I'm just in sweatpants and messy hair like, oh my god, right now girls are partying and I'm home with a good book getting stabbed. 911 operator. Uh, okay, D do you want me to send them? Nah, I'm home in my sweatpants getting stabbed. Other girls will want to be the police, but not me. When I found out they had fired Rachel, I just had to start going back here again, which I will do every chance I get. Anyone who is smart enough to fire Rachel most definitely deserves my money. My prior experiences here were ruined by Rachel, but now that she's gone, I think I'm going to be bringing my very large family here for all major holidays. I'm not sure if they cater, but I'm going to recommend that my employer check it out. Hope the door didn't hit Rachel on the way out, cause gosh diggity darn do I hate her. LOL, you sipping from your little water bottle? Okay dude, haha, <laughs> enjoy your Wawa bottle, ha huh, baby? When I get thirsty, I get my wife to turn on the hose and I stand six feet back and snap at the jet of water like a dog, like... I wonder if my teeth clacking was picked up by the mic. If an old dude ever gives you advice while peeling an apple with a pocket knife and eating pieces right off the blade, you should probably take it. Here's my light bulb that's controlled by my voice. That's my little robot that hovers the floor. This is my watch that measures every aspect of health and gives me daily reports. Here's the brush full of human poop that we have just leave behind the toilet and never talk about. Ah, the poop brush. Short girls are annoying, especially ones that aggressively stalk your boyfriend and ruin your relationship and get pregnant with your partner of eight years. Not a fan at all. Neither am I, dude. That's why I like giant women who are ten feet tall who can crush me. Seriously though, any ten foot baddies? Like, hit my line. In the Toy Story movies, Andy's mom never remarries. This is a subtle nod to how Andy and his mom were better off without a stepdad. Just like how my mom and I are better off without Trevor. Stop dating my mom, Trevor, you stupid dick! You took my Woody away! My brother used to think that a man sat under the escalators and operated them. He also thought that man's name was James and that was his real dad, not our dad. So every time we passed the escalators at the mall, my brother would scream at our dad, You're not my real dad! James is my real dad! What the, what the hell is your family life? Living in an age of the internet where an account with the username BrianFelt1989 is 100% a spam bot dedicated to harvesting porn and personal data, but BoobsMelker420 is a sign of a breathing human life who just posts updates about their homes and garden. I am that BoobsMelker420. Imagine getting in a cab, blacked out, trying to make it home, and you wake up with $3,000 in your pocket. You panic because you don't know how you got the money. Ten months later, you're watching TV and see your drunk butt getting in the back of the cash cab and nailing all the questions. This actually did happen to uh, somebody. Say something nice about the UK! All of the places I've ever been that served potatoes with Chinese food, it was the rainiest. My favorite thing is the Meat Canyon video. It was like, DON'T WORRY, MOMMY! I, I, that, that's my idea of England now. Would a human body kept around 60 degrees Fahrenheit be able to decay in soil with the lack of worms and the only insects being maggots and some fun guy? Yeah, totally, definitely. What? No, I've never done that. <laughs> what? Nah. If you're laid up with your girl in a 41 to 135 degree room and she starts multiplying rapidly, that snitch is a foodborne pathogen. Stay woke, homie. Stay woke! When you're playing Skyrim and your drunk mate comes out as bisexual proposes a three-way to you and your girlfriend. Alright, sounds like fun. Um, is your wiener going in my butt? Because that's my only stipulation that it does. What if you were having sex with your wife and randomly just for maybe one sixtieth of a second, she looked like Melvin Brother of the Joker? Yeah, that's weird. You're really gorgeous. I would dead butt fight three mountain lions in a McDonald's handicapped bathroom stall with my hands tied behind my back and my only weapon is a shake weight glued to my forehead just to get a chance to get to know you and take you out. I would love this if it was proper grammar. Husband, babies, I'll make dinner tonight if you go get the ingredients, make the side, season the meat, bring it to me outside, and then help me find my tongue spatula. I'll grill and you can relax. How would you hide the body of a 165-pound, 70-year, 8-year-old white male who is approximately 6 feet tall? I cut it up into pieces, feed it to my dog, and then take my dog on a walk in the forest. Guys, I'm in the deep crap. My mom said I'm not allowed to eat pickles in my room anymore, but she wasn't home, so I had them on the shelf by my bed, and my cat knocked the door over. How do I clean this? She's home in two hours. You eat the pickles and drink the juice, and then say you pissed it. My grandpa's always like, in my day, the only puss in boots we had was Trentfoot. 
And that's why I keep stealing his bills. <laughs> if for the wise, wise wisdom. If a woman is walking in front of you alone at night, what do you do to let her know you're not going to try anything? If this stuff doesn't happen too much for you, do you have advice? These situations happen all the time, and women suddenly look backwards at me and quickly look forward and walk faster. I feel like crap when this happens. How can I prove I'm a good guy? I don't want to bludgeon anyone and eat them and tickle their severed feet or anything. Most people don't want to do that. What can I do? I mean, I do want to do that, but I wouldn't do that. The best dynamic for a group of characters, every single one of them is the weirdest person you'll ever meet, but in wildly different ways. Every time you think you've identified the normal one, they catch reveal that they don't think birds exist, or they fist fight grizzly bears on the weekends, and they collect human skulls, and you realize again that none of these people are remotely normal. Also, they found your family. It is me, Heavy. Hey, yo, it's me, Scout, over here. I don't know the rest of their voices, but one of them has a German accent. Did your high school take drunk driving so seriously they staged a... A biannual car accident with actual students, so you had to watch at least one of your friends die while one kid had to go to fake court and feel what it was like to listen to parents of people they killed, or are you normal? They were so bad that they got the, the drama club president, who was the daughter of the guy who ran the drama club, and for like an hour she's like, Oh my god, Ryan! 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 And we're just chuckling our ass off because she would not shut up the entire hour. She's like, Ryan! Just trying to steal the show of a staged car accident. And she said I'd never make it as an actor. Frick you, man! I, I'm in a couple commercials. Me, regularly. Uses the same three things at home. Me packing for vacation. I wonder if I'll need the four French horns or five. Some of y'all have never gone to make a happy birthday card and thought, I don't need to trace it. I know how big letters should be. And begun with a big butt H, followed by a big butt A, and oh no, oh god, okay, alright, real skinny P, with a high hump, and then we'll put the second P below the hump of the first P, sort of like a Mokosila sidecar, and now you have no room for the Y, so you do a kind of curly up noodly Y block letter, and cursive look good together, and then you go to write birthday. And you totally forget the lesson you lear just learned with happy you're like yeah but the past is the past big but b surely more letters will fit in the same space and it really shows yeah i've done that a lot of times actually oh god i always murder this name so i got a trick for it pangolios are cute because they always look like they're about to hesitantly present some bad news to you there sovereign lord pardon me sire my liege for my the prisoners they've well they've escaped See, you can't tell I pronounced it wrong if I used an overly thick, made-up accent. Capitalism gets a lot of crap for being evil and not enough for being sad. Seeing a sweaty, bald manager try to fire up a sales team of dead-eyed guys in cheap suits with a PowerPoint presentation that includes Anchorman clips and quotes from golfers changes you. Yes, it does. I need someone who knows how to make grilled cheese sandwiches to help me play a joke on some squirrels. Meet me at noon Saturday at Kit's Underground Wine and Spirits, and we'll go to the park to wait for a squirrel to bury a nut. Then, when the squirrel isn't looking, we'll replace the nut with a sandwich that'll blow its mind doug doug i like you but you seem like a psychopath well definitely the coolest part about twitter is the fact you can say something creative and get a thousand likes and then some nerd will screenshot it and post it on reddit and get 40k upvotes thus getting more internet points than you or you know someone uh, steals your art and uh, tries to badly crop out the watermark that you make as a tattoo for the character and then they get like a thousand likes and your post gets 200 yeah. If I was a sickly little peasant boy designated by the aristocracy to carry messages back and forth for pennies, and you found me against a city's outer wall with a deep wound in my chest from a musket ball, and a letter clutched in my hand, and I told you that my dying wish was to have someone read that letter to me, so I know I died for something important, and you open it up and you find a single large illustration diagram of an onion, would you tell me what it was? What would you say? My friend, it's something very important. <laughs> it has layers and makes you cry. My god, is it a love letter? Of sorts. To onions. What? Uh, uh, he died knowing the truth. Me waking up at 6 p.m. with my charger around my neck, my phone at 2%, not even remembering how I even fell asleep, my hair looking like I've had a fight with a squirrel, dehydrated, and my mom mad at me. I do this on the daily, bro. 50 years ago, if you wanted to see a picture of raccoon, you either had to already have it or drive to a library and raccoon in a funny hat. Ha, huh, forget about that. Thank God for the internet. Your phone when you say you want to buy something. Sometimes I don't even say it. I just think about a product and it pops up. What are you doing there, iPhone? Reading my mind? When you're at your boss's for dinner and your steak is too rare, so when he's not looking, you throw it out the window, but the window isn't open. 
Whoa, dude, flying steak. You must have a haunted house, boss man. Weird. Wanted someone to climb into this hole in the library for us. Job requirements. Limber, trusting, has not read the cask of Antetidello by Edgar Allan Poe. Well, I can't even pronounce it, so you know I haven't read it. Been I'm looking through the comments and see a 5'4 Asian with an hourglass shape, a wolf cut, perfect eyeliner, black mask, glasses combo, friendship now, is wearing a crop top and low-rise jeans with a baggy jacket and converse comment L post and replies, Shut that F up, that's why you're short. Hypothetically, let's say I have been making a mutant creature in my basement and it escaped. What are the legal consequences? So let's hypothetically, I, I, I used to live in a small town in rural Montana and had a laboratory, let's say, uh, hypothetically, I was trying to crossbreed chimpanzees and chicken DNA. And just maybe in my hypothetical scenario, let's say it might have got out into the wild and evolved to reproduce asexually, and it started to feed on humans. Now let's also say hypothetically, of course, it's bulletproof and has a healing factor and can only be killed with fire. Even more hypothetically, let's say the FBI has shut down and is not letting any traffic or media coverage in this part of Montana and is doing everything they can to figure out what is going on. What would be the hypothetical legal consequence of this? I'm sorry. No, sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it would evolve and become a human that's not that funny and just kind of makes YouTube videos, man. Ooh, ah, shut up, me. Dating people IRL always turns into a game of how much furry crap can I talk about before they either admit they're a furry or accuse me of being a furry. Yes, yes, it is. Imagine a crab coming out of the sea pressuring you to kiss a girl you just met two days ago in June, uh, Jamaican accent. Hey, ma I can't do Jamaican accent. Hello, why don't you kiss her, Mr. Ariel? Crikey, Steve Irwin busts through the door and wrestles me into a headlock. This little bugger simulates reproduction up to five times a day, almost exclusively without a mite. Quite the interesting character. I'm gonna take my thumb and shove it up his butt. That's a South Park and a Steve Irwin reference. What are some real but crazy facts that could save a life? Hmm, when facing Mongolian and horse archers, your best tactic is to fence specifically Tetsesero formation, substituting for long spear over the normal short to hold back a potential charge with crossbow and rank. Crossbows will need to be notched to ranges that can be called out from the oncoming angle. Upper shields will lift a gap to allow firing of bolts and then close to reload. Extra padding should be added to the shields in case of flammable liquids being thrown or fired on formation. Thanks. Danny home people, how how do you have sex with your significant other while sleeping on a pull-out bed on the living room floor while your two kids are sleeping six feet away in the loft? We send them outside in the winter. 4.05 p.m. POV, it's cold October Sunday. You're standing five inches away from the screen after your favorite team just got spanked 42-14 to 14 after telling the guys hours before that this season is going to be different. You all lost all three prelays for the 1 p.m. games. Your phone's on D&D because they're giving you hell in the group chat and you have an assignment due at 11.59. I hate TikTok for being so specific. Any girl that likes Hello Kitty will cheat on you and steal all your money and frick your best friend and then lie to your face about it even though you have proof. Hello Kitty's a case, mate. Are you a kids movie from my generation because you're fun and cute but also horrifying in many ways I didn't originally realize? I think my favorite part of every flight is during takeoff when the pilot screams, Bend to my will, Metal Skybird, and take us to the big blueness! And all the passengers chant, Skybird, Skybird, to convince the plane to take off. Every cop show, damn, this serial killer is crafty, very smart, and sneaky. Every true crime podcast, despite dozens of complaints from neighbors, it took over a year for police to investigate the source of the foul odor. I love seeing people online say, I watch real movie criticism, while linking to a video labeled Captain Marvel sucks and is cancer. That's an hour long and by a guy named the Sarcastic Alcoholic, who uses an icon of a plague doctor in a tuxedo drinking scotch and face palming. I miss how Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network only aired commercials aimed at kids. I wish there was an option for that on Hulu and YouTube, like, please no more insurance or antidepressants, please only show me the latest in super soaker technology. People from states with nice roads may never understand what it's like hitting a pothole so hard that your soul leaves your body for a moment, and you feel an obligation to audibly apologize to your car. I really think Rasputin lucked out, and that being remembered by history as some species of giant unkillable sex wizard is something most of us can only fruitlessly aspire to. I once took my kids to a local farm and we found a little goat with its horn stuck in a fence, just sitting there kinda mournfully on the grass. We tried to help it get free, but it was stuck tight. We petted it for a while and fed it some grass, as it had lawn mowed a circle around itself as far as it could reach, and then went back to the ticket office to tell them it needed help. But before I'd said more than, there's a goat, the guy cut me off with a weary wave and said, yeah, we know, stuck in the fence, that's Brenda. She can get herself out whenever she wants, she just likes the attention. Trolled by a fucking goat. 
goat. I'm fucking dying. Yeah, that's Brenda. <laughs> Hey, who's your favorite short, half-Irish, half-Jewish, but secular, dark-haired, light-eyed, former child actor with a severe nickel allergy who played the title character from a beloved British children's book about a child with magic powers? Me, right? Damn it, Radcliffe. Holy f a question I'm qualified for. I bartend, so I always have at least three cheese graters at my disposal, and will go through all three blocks on your soup if you don't stop me. I will then watch and see if you actually eat it, and if you don't, judge you for wasting both my time and my cheese. I will most definitely eat every single tiny scrap of that cheese, and then lick any that fell out off the table, The move, then move to the floor, then the other tables, licking each and every customer's plate clean. I've never made it to the kitchen, but if I haven't been escorted out at that point, I'd be cleaning the cheese off the counters. Some people have resting bitch face. Adam Driver has resting professor of theology listening to his students present a report on religious symbolism in medieval art that they copied off of Wikipedia face. Friend, over the phone, do you think the quarantine has changed you? Me, knitting a dress for the raccoons in my backyard. No. Sex is great, but have you ever handed in your notice to a job that has shattered your mental health for months? Men writing women characters. She was beautiful but didn't know it. She was 5'7 and 101 pounds. Her feet were size 3. Her hat size was infant. She'd never thrown up even once. Her periods lasted 45 minutes. Her top was see-through. <laughs> Whenever I eat soup with bread on the side, I like to pretend I'm in a medieval tavern having supper after a long day of traveling. You know, whatever makes it more enjoyable for you. Do British people still do the accent when nobody's around? It's Tuesday, innit? A bowl of water. I beg your pardon, my dear fellow. However, I must point out that we don't all talk like we are a street urchin selling jellied eels from a bucket. Would it be immoral to raise a baby to believe they're growing up in the 90s by only exposing them to 90s media and telling them the year is 1998, and then one day, when they're a bit older, just expose them to present-day media and convince them they were asleep for a long time but didn't age? I mean, you could have a kid and do that, you know, it's a fun experiment. <laughs> Struggle with sleep? Here are some useful tips. Turn your phone off early. Have a relaxing bath. Open the window. Help a raccoon climb through the window so you can watch Netflix together. This is a sleepover now. Make popcorn for the raccoon. Avoid caffeine. Sometimes I say, huh? Then answer the question before the person even repeats themselves. I'm not deaf. My brain just be lagging like a 2005 Dell desktop. It would be fitting. Foxes are dogs running cat software with a dolphin soundboard. New movie idea. Small town farm boy goes to the big city and falls in love with a hotshot lawyer woman who convinces him to move into the city and start hating Christmas. By age 25, you should have a failed YouTube career, a foreign film you watched accidentally yet always recommend, an unfinished 12 chapter fanfiction, an unfounded hatred of TikTok had enough. If you could only teleport somewhere to and back once, what would you use it on? How long do I stay? You can teleport back whenever you want. I would teleport to the foot of Quentin Tarantino's bed at like 2 a.m., scream and shake his bed, then teleport back. What the fuck? So I tried to read Fifty Shades of Grey this weekend, but every time Anastasia said, oh my, which was like two to three times per page, I couldn't help but imagine George Takai saying, Oh my, by page 12. I imagined everything Anastasia said was said in George Takai's voice. By page 15, I just imagined George Takai was Anastasia. I had to give up somewhere around page 17, because Christian has started to sound and look like William Shatner slash Captain Kirk, circa Star Trek the original series, and after that I imagined everyone wearing Enterprise uniforms. And there was no way the story was going to come back from that. I didn't even make it to any of the sex scenes. I'm at that age where the heated seats in my truck are more about soothing back pain than warming me up. It's not a Sunday, unless you completely waste it, then feel really sad around 8pm. Guitarists be like, yo, this tone is so strongly, but if I twist this here knob, it widens the screen go and adds bonkle to it. Women get to smell like real things, vanilla, lavender, but men have to smell like concepts. What the f*** is Cool Sport Rush? Hey, I say f*** it, I buy women's shampoo all the time. I, I wanna smell like strawberries, sprinkles, ice cream. Uh, I don't give a sh I, I will. I will put that all over my body. Listen, if you sneak up on someone to grab them as a joke and they elbow you in the diaphragm as hard as possible, that's your fault. Your entire goal was to startle. Some people's startle response, limbic hijack mode is fight. You ran the risk of that happening and you still did it. I'm just sick of the, oh my God, what's your problem reaction when it's like, I don't know, man, you triggered a deeply entrenched survival instinct for a laugh and it didn't work out for you. Maybe shut the f up. Imagine you getting a job at GameStop, and your manager is the type of guy to chug a whole monster energy drink and then say, haha, level up, and he does that every day. 
This is oddly specific, are you okay? Reddit, am I the asshole? My mom, 82 female, told me, 12 male, to do the dishes, but I, 12 male, was too busy playing Fortnite, three kills, so I, 12 male, grabbed my controller, DualShock 4, and threw it at her, 138 kilometers per hour. Okay, so when some PhD nerd does it, they're a chemist and they get a research grant. But when I do it, I'm a felon and I need to interlock my fingers behind my head. Such bullshit. Don't even talk to me right now. I don't have the patience or ability to play Elden Ring, but I'm madly jealous of everyone tweeting stuff like, I found Borgus the wretched goat herder in the plain of tormented milk. His head is eight dogs. I had to fight him 342 times. He wept as he died. It was awesome. Well, there's only one thing I have to say to you, my friend. Uh, get good. Alexa, show me the unnervingly large Venn diagram of people who hate immigrants but love to take 23andMe tests to find out exactly what type of immigrant their family once was. Dating someone who's not as online as you is weird. In the span of two hours, my girlfriend will read a book, go for a walk, and cook a meal while I'll still be trying to figure out why Communist Daddy 69 thinks I'm a moron. I eat 15 apples for breakfast, then drive myself to the hospital just to watch the doctors get blasted backwards into the drywall because they can't withstand my aura. Can't get sentences like this anywhere else. Have we checked all food to see if exploding them makes them into something better or did we just stop with corn? My husband has some disturbing requests for after he's passed away. This one is really bizarre and I'm sorry ahead of time. My husband of 12 years has had some medical problems recently. The topic about end of life plans came up and I asked for if he wanted to be buried. He didn't want that, nor did he want to be cremated. My husband wants me to have his skull taken from his body and cleaned. Then he wants that skull put on the mantelpiece in the living room. The rest of his body he wants sent to one of those places that makes the gems out of bodies and made into two blue diamonds. He then wants those gems to be put in the eye socket of the skull to look like eyes. Then he can watch the family home and be passed down through the generations. Uh, I don't, I don't know, I don't know about that one, person, I mean, it's not my family, it's not my, it's not, it's not my husband, but, um, yeah, no. Can I legally blow up a planet from the solar system? Let's say I build a device or have a supernatural power that allows me to completely destroy a planet with a giant explosion. Would I be charged by the law if I did that? P.S. All planets except Earth. Yeah, I, I don't know if there's any laws on that now, but like, you know, the legality of blowing up a planet, but I've seen a few movies and um, people don't really like it when that happens. I don't want my laptop to be the thinnest model yet. I want a battery that will outlast the sun, a screen big enough to blind the person behind me, more USB slots than there are Apple fanboys in the area, a f***ing disc reader and writer. I will pay extra for it to be heavy enough to bludgeon someone to death. I don't want to work five days a week and figure out what to cook for dinner every day. I want to lie on a rock in the sun like a lizard. You ask me for the time and notice my watch is actually a live shrimp hugging my wrist. He whispers, 1230, but he's guesstimating as shrimps usually do. I know nothing about wine, so I buy bottles based on the label's art. My wife asked me what type of wine I wanted with dinner. I'm like a bear in a scuba suit. Rob Ryan looks like Gandalf when undercover to bust a cocaine smuggling ring in Miami in 1986. Bro, why is laundry the most exhausting chore? I do laundry for two hours and feel like I fought 12 seagulls. Adult Arthur looks like he used to front a regionally successful pop punk band in the late 2000s that was just a few years too late to really catch the big commercial wave, so then he got into tech startups. You can say please and thank you a million times and your toddler will never repeat it, but if you say ass-faced mother once, in third grade, I was suspended for inciting a mob when me and all of my fellow cesarean-born kids started making fun of the natural-born kids because they touched their mom's p***s, and I just wanted to apologize for that before the world ends. It's Catholic canon that in the Garden of uh, Gethsemane, Jesus Christ saw every sin committed by human beings, which means that he watched a guy blasting rope to Waluigi Hentai and still decided to sacrifice himself for humanity. Absolute legend. I don't know who needs to hear this right now, but you can eat lasagna in the shower if you want, too. It's uh, not illegal. They can't arrest you. Go and be free. Hey, guys, um, I'll be right back. Seriously, I'll be right back. Uh, not, nothing lasagna related. I'll just be right back. All right, one shower later and totally didn't eat lasagna. Time to move on. The single most important thing a man can do to be an ally is give his woman friends permission to give dudes at the bar his number so when they call, he can angrily say, that's not funny because she died 15 years ago that very night. Damn, Zach, uh.
uh, what you been going through, bud? What if you put your fingers in a girl's mouth to be sexy and she just made a really loud whistle with them that called a horse over? Did, uh, did this happen to you, Matt? Because if so, that's interesting. Four person max, 1,000 kg or one horse, 5,050 bananas, 6,666 hen's eggs, 2,941 pigeons, 88 haddock, 10,526 nickels. This is a very interesting thorough elevator, isn't it? How come when a house is haunted, it's always a ghost from the 1700s? Imagine a ghost from 2007 screaming, it's Britney snitch at 3 a.m. Bro, imagine one from 2012 being like, sorry for party rocking. On a rainy day, a girl broke up with a boyfriend after being together for eight long years. They decided to separate at the place where everything about them began. At the same time, the boy is due north crying and running at a rate of five feet slash a second, and the girl is walking due east at a rate of one foot a second, thinking if she made the right decision. How fast are they gonna s are they separating from each other five seconds after they started moving to a new life without each other? Damn, Teach. What you been going through, bro? You need a shoulder to cry on? I'm here. Honk if you'd rather be watching the 1999 cinema masterpiece The Mummy starring Brendan Fraser and uh, Rachel Weisz. Honk! That's a great movie. Every single one's great. Even the third one that's bad. It's better than the remake. Jack Black is literally the only human that never needs any context for me. I could see him going anywhere and doing anything like if I got abducted by aliens and saw him just wandering around the spaceship putting bugle chips on his fingers to make it look like he has claws. I would be like, that's some classic Jack Black right there and not even question it. Bro, the only good part about the freaking Mario movie casting besides, of course, Charlie Day. Those two work. Unpopular opinion. The best thing young people can do early in their life careers is to abandon their identity and start over in the coastal New England town as a mysterious but beloved local bartender. I'm just saying. <laughs> not like I did that, but I'm just saying. Oh no, I simply do not have time for a 30 minute workout today. I said to myself as I proceeded to spend the next two hours watching videos of turtles eating strawberries. I've done stuff like this. I've done stuff like this and I'm and I feel bad about it. Hey old lady who stole our doormat. You should probably just bring it back. That's super weird and you're way too old for this crap. Seriously, go 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 be in a home or something. Brownies with or without nuts. The nuts are unnecessary and frick up the chewing flow. Brings nothing to the table except chaos. Individuals who want nuts in their brownies are unstable and cheat in relationships. Sydney Washington, what who cheated on you? Who broke your heart that liked nuts in their mouth? How do you tell my boyfriend that I want him to scream at me in bed like he's Gordon Ramsay and I'm a little chef who just ruined a cream brulee? Like this. Honey, our sex is very raw. Can you take out that raw energy and scream me and yell at me like I'm a little chef? Ha <laughs> ha, college students home from quarantine. Assert uh, dominance by waking up before your parents so that when they come downstairs, you can passive aggressively sip your coffee and say, ha <laughs> ha, well, look who finally decided to get out of bed. <laughs> Imagine if you're day in court for a horrible crime you didn't commit. Your lawyer is late. You haven't even met them yet. Then the doors swing open and it's a freaking golden retriever in a suit. Your heart sinks. You realize you are an Airbud 14, attorney at paw. You weep. Bro, why would you weep? Airbud always wins. You're, you're getting off scot-free. Okay, new rule. If you regularly consume the blood and flesh of a demigod in a room full of chanting elders, you're not allowed to call other religions primitive and evil. This is oddly specific and leaves some very interesting questions unanswered. Catholicism sure does sound weird when you put it that way, my friends. It really does. Dudes will be like, where's my big titty GF with a small waist that watches anime and plays video games, but not too much. It can be both my mom and my therapist. Meanwhile, they're just some guy, bro. Seems like you got dumped by your big titty GF, man. I feel for you. Cute dog. Can I have them? No. Can I have you instead then? That was smooth. It's all a facade to make you drop your god with me. Then we fall in love, move to Hawaii and get married, but I work too much, so we argue. We decide it's time for us to split up. I get the dog in the divorce. It was all for the dog. I mean, do you see your dog Tinder date? It's all for the dog. Starting a job feels like your new character on the ninth season of a TV show, and you're getting ridiculed by your Gordon Ramsay. People protesting for Disneyland to open so they can walk around in the blazing sun for seven hours to go on three rides, then have the worst family fight in years and slay, silently drive home. Yeah, that sounds freaking fantastic. Sorry if I'm not your cup of tea. I'm not even my own cup of tea. I'm barely a cup. I don't like tea. I'm more like a rusty bucket of haunted bog water. Sorry if I'm not your rusty bucket of haunted bog water, mate. Nah, that's okay. Somebody out there is my rusty bucket of bog water, and I'll love them forever. Imagine you are living inside a teeny mushroom house with a teeny chimney deep in the woods. No one knows you exist. You make soup in a teeny pot. You are free. Free! 
Yo, can anybody tell me about this ice cream here? They got it packaged all nice and crap, set up like only rich people buy it, so I need to know, cause just the display make me want to buy it. My dude, this is not ice cream. This is gelato, aka Italian godsend from the clouds of Olympia. It's icier and creamier than ice cream ever fathomed. Bluebell had a pure sweet child with a velvet suede three-piece suit, and that child got straight A's in culinary perfection and went on to graduate with a PhD in deliciousness from the University of Yes Lord. That salted caramel tastes like sex with your favorite celebrity. Cop that. Damn, brah. My boss used to eat this and made me buy it for him once, and I got a spoonful, and I was like, well, I'll never get to enjoy this love in my life again because I'm too broke. The reason cats are so pissy is they're God's perfect killing machines, but they only weigh eight pounds, and we keep picking them up and kissing them. Ah, oh, who's a cute little kitty? I will destroy you one day, human. Oh, who's a cute little kitty? Sure, sex is great, but have you ever taken a poop so hard that it clears your tummy and you feel confident and your depression is cured and you're successful in life and it can conquer the world? <laughs> yes, I have, my friend. <laughs> no. Hey, what's your favorite short, half Irish and half Jewish, but securely dark-haired, light-eyed former child actor with a severe nickel allergy who played the title character from a beloved privileged children book about a child with magic powers? Me, right? <laughs> Damn it, Radcliffe. Damn it. Remember when you used to go over to your friend's house and you'd go down to the computer room to the dad's old crappy desktop computer and sit on the giant black leather computer chair and your friend would show you Charlie the Unicorn and epic rap battles of history type stuff on YouTube while the younger siblings bugged you for a turn to use the computer? Crap, man, that was my childhood. Right. So when I started my sociology course in college, my teacher stated us off with, I'm pretty sure they meant started, well, I guess you have to do icebreakers. I'm John and I fear bears. Why do I fear bears? Because bears can run at 30 miles per hour and Chester Zoo is 30 miles away. That means a bear can be outside this door in an hour. Why would a bear be here? Because they can smell the fear and I fear them. Hi, John. I don't like cats because I'm allergic. If you're laid up with your girl in a 41 to 135 degree room and she starts multiplying rapidly, that snitch is a food-born pathogen. Stay woke, homie. Don't be born with your midlife crisis and buy a sports car. Go hard. Learn magic. Lease a falcon. Start a cult. Are people worried about you? Sure. But are they also a little curious? Yeah, man. Sign them up for the cult. You gonna make those falcon payments? <laughs> Lease a falcon. <laughs> Being a serial killer is much like being a comedian in that you either hit it big and you get your own Netflix special or you spend an entirety popping off on crappy podcasts and you never really make it and your parents are disappointed in you. I got blocked, ghosted in Snapchat after sending a selfie a lot of times. I started chatting with a girl and after I sent a selfie, I would just get blocked. Don't let that discourage you. These kind of people don't deserve your time and effort anyway. I did eventually find someone and you will too. Just keep your head up and keep searching. Are you talking a normal selfie and then you were blocked or was it a full body meal selfie where you were wearing a fedora and a Rick and Morty silk button up shirt with no pants, no underwear, black socks and combat boots and the picture was taken in the mirror of your horrid dirty bathroom and in the background your elderly mother looks on in surprise and horror when holding a heaping plate of chicken nuggets and a box of Capri Suns. <laughs> Bro, what you been going on to? If you try to hand a woman something and close in your fist, she is going to think you're trying to hand her a bug. Even if you've known her for years and never tried to give her a bug before, they never let their guard down regarding being handed a bug. This one holds some truth to it, I'm not even gonna lie. The best part of being a hitman has to be taking a shower where you place your hands on the wall and let the water run down your face while you ponder the more ambiguity of your actions. Yeah, man, I love that part. I'm sick of pointing a gun at my dad through my window at 2 a.m. as he please. Come on, Jake, just lend your old paw in, I'm tired. And replying, you're not my dad, he's asleep in the other room. I hear him snoring. Then watching his expression go sour as he turns back towards the woods. I hate that crap, man. Just leave me alone. Why isn't porn more realistic? Like, why isn't there one with a husband and a wife and the wife chokes violently on her spit and then the husband gets alarmed they spend a good five minutes with her coughing and him smacking her on the back and then the mood is gone. So they go get donuts because donuts are true sex joy. Imagine getting in a cab blacked out trying to make it home and you wake up with $3,000 in your packet. You panic because you don't know how you got the money. Ten months later, you're watching TV and you see your drunk butt getting in the back of Cash Cab and nailing all the questions. Ah, sweet. A once heard Scott described as, what plays in a 13 year old's kid head when he gets extra mozzarella sticks and nothing in the world is more accurate. Bom ba dum bom ba dum bom ba boo scoo da ba ba da mozzarella sticks. If I were a human bone trying to escape the body, 
I'd probably wait until the person was eating a chicken wing, then try to slip out through the mouth. Let them think I'm just part of the wing they ate. By the time they figure it out, <laughs> I'm long gone into my own bony life. Humans in sci-fi, stupid artificial beings, lol. They don't have feelings, so you can treat them like crap. Humans in real life. I put googly eyes on my toaster. His name is James now, and I'll protect him with my life. Ten years from now, you'll put on a jacket and find a mask in the pocket. Oh man, what a year that was. You'll chuckle to yourself. Then you'll pick up your machete, continue across the wasteland, keeping to the shadows to avoid the roaming gangs of cannibal raiders who got super COVID. Ah, what a year that was. It's wild that you can just do anything. Date the wrong person, choose the wrong career. You can go outside and start eating dirt if you want, and the universe lets you. Not even a pop-up like, are you sure you want to eat this dirt with dog poo? Not even a little one. Stop trying to make a toxic relationship work and just move back to your hometown, date someone from your high school class, conceive a child three months in a relationship, force a marriage, and spend the rest of your life living for the Myrtle Beach vacation you take every July. This sits a little bit too close to home because we went to Florida and Myrtle Beach every two years for vacation. <sighs> but we didn't go in July, we went in winter, baby! If you were the type of child that hoarded stickers because you couldn't commit to sticking them onto something and not being able to remove them in one piece, congrats, you're now an anxious adult. <laughs> ah, 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 it's too close to my life! Had a dream that McDonald's had a big ad campaign that just said, we have it, in black cryptic writing. So I went to a drive through and said, I saw the sign, can I have it? And the speaker was silent for a solid 10 seconds before saying, do you think you're ready? In my voice, and I screamed and drove away. Ah, it sounds like cougar gross! So it turns out a squirrel would need to fall about 4,800 miles in order to die because that would give it time to starve to death because they can survive terminal velocity. Rachel, I am begging you, it's 2.30 in the morning, what are you talking about? You don't know what fun is until you've witnessed a drunk on the Edinburgh to Glasgow train screaming, a freaking hate hedgehogs, come at me, you jabby wee snunt, while angrily circling a hairbrush that's been dropped on the floor. <laughs> what? What? If you ever had an option where a guy with a mullet picked you up in an 87 Silverado with the windows down blowing Travis Tritt cool, full of cores in the truck bed and responded to everything you said with, hell yeah, brother, then I choose it more often than I'm proud to admit. Yeah, man, that'd just be a good time. I wouldn't even drink. I just would love the, hell yeah, brother, boost my confidence every day. Dude, you gotta watch this show. The first five seasons are freaking terrible, and every episode is nine hours long, but season seven is decent, and season 12 literally made me laugh. You can only watch it on Prime Video, and every episode costs $4. All right. Ah, there goes the last of my savings. Drew Goddard said watch it, I'm watching it. For those who may not know, Black Panther is the richest comic book character ever created. His net worth is $500 billion, is more than Bruce Wayne's net worth multiplied by Tony Stark's net worth multiplied by two. That is all. Correction. Black Panther is the richest character in superhero comics. The richest comic book character all around is Scrooge McDuck with a net worth of five multiplajillion nine impossibilion seven fantastic trillion dollars and 16 cents. I had to look for the 16 cents, but I found it. Embrace your inner child. Run in the meadow. Lay with the sun. Follow the rainbow. Pee in your pants. Get angry at the color blue. Scream because circles should be squares. Tells a stranger she looks like the lady in Daddy's secret magazine. Believe in magic. Dogs are welcome in this hotel. We have never had a dog that smoked in bed and set fire to the blankets. We never had a dog that stole our towels and played the TV too loud or had a noisy fight with his traveling companion. We never had a dog that got drunk and broke up the furniture. So, if your dog can vouch for you, you're welcome. The management. Every city has a guy they all know about. You can visit a friend in their town and see a man dressed in robes riding a horse, and your friend will go, Oh yeah, <laughs> that's horseback Jesus. And then that's just the end of the explanation. We had this dude, he would literally ride in a horse and buggy downtown every day. Wasn't Amish or anything, just did it for fun. Woman of Reddit. Sexy ones only. What is the sexiest thing about a morbidly obese, gaming addicted, nihilistic, antisocial, narcissistic man-child? Can we we please have like the four comments pop up? I really want to know. I hate horror movie fans always saying crap like, have you seen Clown Town 4? It was straight to DVD and banned in Brazil. The ending is a 30 minute torture scene. It's honestly better than The Godfather. Hey man, it's horror movies. Better than The Godfather. Godfather's burning except for the one ionic scene. Ted travels stead. Always carry a potato wrapped in foil to a party. It's a conversation starter. Ever seen Lion's Egg? A conversation avoider. Excuse me. Hot, hot, hot. Conversation ender. Just got this sister mood. Feel how heavy 
HIV. I always carry a potato wrapped in foil to a potty. I'm straight up gonna do this when I go back to LA. 25 to 30 years is so long, y'all. It's long enough to be born, grown up, go to grad school, make no money in your field, get a steady day job, have that job suddenly vanish because of a global pandemic, and get way too into D&D as a coping mechanism. Ha! <laughs> I was into D&D long before it was a coping mechanism. Because I have no friends. Imagine you were a whale and you were breaking up with your whale girlfriend and humans recorded your conversation and put it on Spotify to fall asleep to. That would be so fricked up. <laughs> Mike, 33, service technician, lives in Grand Rapids, 58 miles away. Looking for a girl who is really trusting and healthy. Must have both kidneys, non-smoker, not be a heavy drinker, or take any drugs that could damage the liver. Typo negative blood, a plus, my friends. Did you grow up with an emotionally unavailable parent so you craved love so bad until you eventually resented it and now when someone tries to show love it makes you extremely uncomfortable or you are normal crap crap on the first one. Oh jesus oh dear god this one is long and i'm gonna power read it i was at work and i had the hiccups and was stuck in aisle and this lady in the aisles heard me hiccuping and said oh have you got the hiccups and i said yeah and she said do you want me to get rid of them and i thought she meant she was going to scare me so i was like no thanks and she was like you want to keep your hiccups and i said yeah please don't scare me me, and then I wandered off. And then a couple minutes later, I still had hiccups, and she walked by on her way out, and she said, I wasn't going to scare you, you know. And I said, you weren't? And she said, no. I have a way I can cure hiccups. And I was like, well, what is it? She's like, there's something about me that when I talk to people, their hiccups just go away. I just chat or maybe tell them a story, and after a minute or so, their hiccups are just gone. And I thought she was like, definitely on some pseudo something crap. So I kind of laughed and joked like, you should expect a call from X-Men soon then. And she said, no, for real. I bet your hiccups are gone now, aren't they? And sure enough, my freaking hiccups were gone. They stopped while she was speaking to me and didn't come back all night. What the frick kind of power did this woman have? Was she a hiccup witch? I have so many questions for her. <laughs> I am the hiccup witch. I steal your hiccups and turn them into power. Yeah, breakups hurt. But have you ever been a super talkative, enthusiastic person, but slowly over the years and trauma after trauma, watch yourself become more quieter and quieter to the point where that enthusiastic bubbly person just isn't who you are anymore oh fuck sorry sorry guys that one hit a little too deep for a second <laughs> <laughs> moving on cool country you've got there. Would be a shame if someone inverted a website for ranking hot girls on campus and your mom used it to learn how to poison herself with horse pasta. Did I just read horse paste as horse pasta? Either way, what is going on with this post? Some of you never had to spend hours in the kitchen table crying as your dad shouts, what is three times seven? Um, I don't know, dad. Anyone else stuck in this weird cycle where work is so exhausting that your hobbies feel like too much work so you don't do them? Then you go back to work upset that you didn't take time to do things you like and rinse and repeat? Yeah, bro, it's called working three jobs at once, and it sucks. Love ordering pizza but hate receiving slash eating? Call the fake pizza hotline, 647-483-2705. A perfect simulation of the pizza ordering experience. No pizza will be made or sent to you. That's the fake pizza hotline guarantee. Vegan and gluten-free options are available. Hours of operation, Saturday, July 15th, 11.58 p.m. to Sunday, July 16th, 2.35 a.m. I'm going to call this number real quick. Give me a second, guys. Yeah, I don't know if I have just had bad service or something, but I legit tried this and it just didn't even ring. It's super weird. I hope I don't have a virus on my phone now. Imagine someone asks you to cat sit. You come over and it's just a goddamn femboy sitting there in cat ears and yeah. at you. Khloe Kardashian's hands look like the hands of what I imagine lives under my bed and grabs my ankles in my sleep. <laughs> I'm not like other girls, she said, golden skins shimmering in the summer sun, and she wasn't. She was a rotisserie chicken that I bought, took outside, and performed a small skit with in the parking lot before eating in my car while sobbing loudly. They should not give cops horses. Give those horses to postal workers so I can sit out on my porch drinking iced tea, and then a guy rides up on a horse and says, hey pal, got a letter for you here. I hate ordering from Starbucks. It's like, hi, can I get a mango bing bong ice spring? <laughs> Let me try that again. Can I get a mango bing bong ice sprinkled banjo drink with two shots of Hyundai Tucson? My brain is an internet browser with 108 tabs open and every time I try to close them it asks me, are you sure? And I'm not sure. I'm not sure about anything. Stamps foot. I do not want a gumbo recipe from the New York Times. I want a gumbo recipe from an old woman named Mama Th the Thibodeo Landry, who can bare knuckle box an alligator while reciting the Holy Rosary in Cajun French. Wife, ugh, here comes Brad from my work. Me, which one is he again? Wife, the guy that says things and you can never tell if it's a compliment or an insult. Brad, well, 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 someone smells like muffin mix. 
Some of you never had to manually upload your CD collection to your wonky laptop in order to populate your playlist so you could have your favorite music on your iPod, only to have the whole library wiped out because you ejected it improperly, so you smashed your iPod, and it shows. Wanted, someone to climb into this hole in the library for us. Job requirements, limber, trusting, has not read The Cask of Amontillado by Edgar Allan Poe. Pigs can't look up, but I could pick up a pig one night and raise it into the sky and tilt this pig ever so gentle. I can make sure this pig's eyes line up with the stars. Imagine seeing the stars for the first time. I want to be treated that kindly and see the stars for the first time. Children are so strange. I just had seven young boys on my front porch demanding to see my cat. They had a leader. I opened the door and before I could greet them, he said, where's your cat? I know he's in there. We see him in the windows and he's real fat. I don't know what to do here. I don't often get sick, but when I do, I instantly become a frail Victorian child asking mother for permission to be carried into the garden to see the sun one last time before the consumption takes hold. How do I tell my boyfriend that I want him to scream at me in bed like he's Gordon Ramsay and I'm a little chef who just ruined a creme brulee? Every woman's biggest nightmare is a late marriage. Mine is sitting on a toilet and a hidden snake attacks my vagina, but okay. You know, I've also had this fear, uh, for my where are centaur's lungs and heart? Logic says in the peoply chest bit, but they wouldn't be big enough for an animal that size. And if they're in the horse bit, what is inside the peoply chest bit? Remember when Pizza Hut pan pizzas were basically a culinary delicacy? They'd bring them out on a real freaking skillet that was piping at 700 degrees Fahrenheit right as your third song kicked in on the jukebox after you played a game of Galaga. We were royalty. I mean... I didn't grow up in the 80s, so I did not experience this, but I did experience Pizza Hut a few times, and uh, it was it was alright. But the Germans have a word for when you go to Little and stock up on treats for the weekend on a Wednesday and then have to look at them for the rest of the week. What? Me? This pizza is really good. Somebody who visited Italy with their family for a week when they were 14. <sighs> it's fine. Thursday is the Luigi of weekdays. It's not as popular as Friday, but it's not evil like Monday or Tuesday. Wednesday is Toad. Shapeshifting is the best superpower because you can have any haircut anytime you want. You can turn into a hotter version of yourself, you can turn into a dragon, you can turn into a robot, you can turn into a shambling mound of abstract shapes and sulk outside your estranged father's house at night while chanting ominously about his sins. This took a weird turn, but I'm still on board. All right, we got some customer requests here for this pizza. Uh, crust a little crisper than normal, but not too crispy. If that's not vague enough, make it like you're taking revenge on a cheating boyfriend, but you still want to reconcile in the not so distant future. Another one, the gate is tricky. Please don't break it. And the spider on the porch is called Frank. Be nice to Frank, he guards the tomatoes. Okay. Twizzlers taste like as if someone was vaguely thinking of cherries whilst melting plastic bags into a pasta noodle press. Tommy Lee Jones always looks like his son just told him he cooked a ribeye steak in an air fryer. <laughs> Me and Hell describing gaslighting and love bombing to a medieval peasant who was executed for stealing a spoonful of buckwheat in 1259. See somebody on Twitter who is more successful than me. I gotta get off this website. Switches to Instagram and sees someone hotter than me. Man, <laughs> this app. Goes on Facebook and sees a guy I went to middle school with is in jail for murder. There we go. Made on Earth by humans. I would fucking hope so. Therapist, so how depressed would you say you've been feeling lately? Me, I don't care anymore if my foot hangs over the bed where a monster can get it. Therapist, whispering, Jesus, wow. Your fiance gets kidnapped in a foreign country. You stay out till 2 a.m. searching with authorities, but eventually you have to call it and return to your hotel. Do you still do your skincare routine, yes or no? I've gone so many years without physical contact that at this point, I think someone tenderly holding my hand would kill me, like how a flavor-blasted goldfish would kill a medieval peasant. When you get home from a long-ass day at work and your girl asks if you'd still love her if she was a lamp. Tea, calming, many flavors, the answer to all problems. Coffee, anxiety juice, three heartbeats for the price of one, more than four cups and you can talk to electricity. Please do not eat in the library. The ants will get in and learn to read and get too smart and knowledge is power, but power corrupts so they'll turn evil and take over the world. Dog shelters, don't buy puppies, consider adoption instead. Also dog shelters, this is Piss Fingers. She's 19 years old and can't live in a home with children, books, or electricity. Piss Fingers is nervous around hair and needs 400 acres of land and an orchard of extinct fruits. Your death metal garbage sounds like music to sacrifice goats to. Glad you like it. It's truly awful. Can you turn it down, please? You missed the point. If I turn it down, you'll hear the goat screaming. Authorities cannot be more specific than this. Do not touch your partner's private part while he or she is driving. 
Either you had a Wii growing up or your parents are still together. You only get one. I had a Wii growing up. <laughs> Ordering a pizza in a snowstorm is such a <laughs> move, lol. Oh, the roads are too bad to drive, but let's see if this 17-year-old kid can make it in his 04 Kia. Streaming music. Every song is on every platform. Streaming shows. Season 1 is on Netflix. Season 2 is on Hulu, except for the season finale, which is only available on HBO Max in Japan. What is your most controversial video game hot take? The pursuit for photorealism in games is a fruitless endeavor that only results in bloated file sizes that take too much space. Doom guy's a bottom. Cool country you've got there. Would be a shame if someone invented a website for ranking hot girls on campus and your mom used it to learn how to poison herself with horse paste. The fewer words a magic sword's name has, the more dangerous it is. You don't want to be on the wrong end of Dark King Grudemore's Edge of Annihilation, don't get me wrong, but you for sure do not want to be on the wrong end of something called The Throngler. That's what they called me in high school. If I could give any advice to my 8-year-old self, stop talking about how much you like owls all the time. You're about to get worthless owl things for every holiday until you're 20. Start talking about how much you like cold, hard cash. Finding out someone's go-to OTC painkiller is so insane. Like, you're friends with someone for years, and you find out they come from a Tylenol family. Ibuprofen? The hottie. Love her. The gold standard. Tylenol? Like, okay, I guess. Someone's mom is a nurse. Aleve. Hardcore. Possibly goth? This person has chronic pain. Lots of respect to them. Aspirin. What's going on here? More questions than answers. Each morning I put one uncooked ravioli in a thermos. I pour hot water over it, sleeping it like tea, and then I drink it all day at work. I work at the White House, and at the end of the day, as I take the last sip of the tea, the soft ravioli slides into my mouth and I eat it. <sighs> why, why did I have to read this? Apparently some people go to bed and just sleep. They don't plot a seven book epic fantasy series or softly broil an existential dread or replay every mistake they've ever made. And then they wake up, checks notes, refreshed. It just sounds a bit fake. Chihuahua owners will really just say things like, this is Princess Prissy sh she is two years old, has 17 rare diseases, tried to kill me with a small knife, and vomits constantly, she is so cute. And you have to pretend to like the little thing, like it doesn't look like a fly with an an ins God, there's a lot of big boy words here today. But you know, sounds like a broken weed, that, that, I can understand that, yeah. You will die at an Arby's in Columbus, Ohio. Ah, uh, I'm staying out of Ohio.